Yeah, I am pleased to be joined by the Prime Minister. What is this a sign of, do you think, a growing uh, indication Lebanon is very much back on the international map? Of course, of course. And the Lebanese feel proud that such an important uh, summit is held here in Beirut. I must ask about the issue. Last week there was some unrest linked to energy prices, as it turns out. It almost is a bit ironic that there were protests uh, ahead of the meeting. Are you unsettled? Oh, this, is by this is normal. You know, we are in a democratic country. Of course, what happened last week, uh, some, some part of it shouldn't happen. But in general, people demonstrating on the street, this is their right, and uh, according to our constitution. Is it a sign of somewhat growing discontent, or is it manageable? No, it is manageable. It's manageable. Now we are opening a, a dialogue with everybody to see what we can do. To what? Resolve the... To solve the resolve to, to make everybody participate in the decision. There was the issue about energy prices. What can you do to help their concerns? Uh, let's hope now that the summit will come with increasing production, which will reduce the pr uh, price of oil. Okay, let's talk about your own issues here. One of them is debt. Uh, you do run a, a big national debt here. You are trying to secure cheaper loans. Bring me up to date on that. What's the latest? You know, our, the problem, the main problem in Lebanon today is the deficit on the budget. The deficit can, uh, is coming from servicing our public debts. So our problem is big, but it is not difficult to solve. If we can reduce the service of the public debts, our uh, deficit will disappear because we are paying now about 9% to service our public debts. If we can reduce it to 5% or 4%, so it, is, it will be uh, no more uh, deficit on the budget. And this, in my opinion, is possible. We need to build more confidence in the country. We need to bring more investors. We need to encourage more the businessmen and the industrialists to work in Lebanon. And the government is doing that. When are you able to secure cheaper loans? Could it be by the end of the year? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. We have to do so many steps. Maybe in, in middle of uh, year 2005, we can be in a position to secure a lower cost uh, interest. What about the issuing of bonds? Would you consider this as a means and when? Yeah, we are doing this all the time. We have no problem. You know, we have no problem with borrowing money from the market, from the Lebanese market, from the international market. The problem is we are paying so high. We want to decrease this. What about some gold reserves? I know that you do have substantial gold reserves. European banks are selling off their gold. Why don't you do the same? No, we don't do the same because the Lebanese people feel that the gold is important for uh, their security. They feel secure because they feel that they have the gold. So, and they, the gold it gives them more confidence on their uh, money. What about oil? There's even been talk that you may have some oil and gas reserves here. Uh, whereabouts and how confident are you may get these? You know, we have indications, strong indication that we have gas and maybe we have oil. But I don't want to announce anything today before we have a solid information, uh, which is might appear in one year time. Are you confident or are you skeptical? No, I am more, more, you know, I am prudent. What about investment from Saudi Arabia? Is this going to be your biggest chance of uh, outward investment coming into your country? You know, we are having investment from all over the Gulf states, especially from Saudi Arabia. The big bulk is coming from Saudi Arabia. But we should not deny that Kuwaiti are investing, Emirates, uh, everybody in fact, Oman, everyone. And all the Gulf states, citizens are investing in Lebanon now. And so uh, just finally, in regard to US sanctions on Syria, you are very close to Syria. What type of impact is this going to have on your own economy? You know, we don't know, we don't know yet, but we'd like to see the sanction is lifted. And I don't think this is for the interest of anyone. OK, sir, on that note, we'll have to leave it there for the time being anyway. Prime Minister Hariri, they're speaking to us ahead of this OPEC decision.